good day everyone welcome once again to our channel um in this particular module we'll be talking about drill bits we'll be looking at drill bits we'll be looking at um types of drill bits we have in the industry in the oil and gas industry we'll be looking at how they are designed we'll be looking at how they are selected we'll be looking at how they are graded so as you go ahead to watch please do not forget to watch like share and subscribe so the course outline is going to be as follows we're going to be discussing we're going to be defining and discussing what exactly drill bits are we're going to be looking at um different bit types we're going to be looking at their cutting mechanisms then we'll go ahead to talk about the advantage and disadvantages of those various of the various types of bit that we have discussed so moving right straight into it what are drill bits bits are used in various industry they are used for woodwork they are used for metal work but the kind of bits we want to speak about here are bits used in the oil and gas industry they are made spe specifically for boring for drilling holes for drilling operations so quickly to explain what i mean if you look at this um schematic to the right here let me just quickly put up my um pointer so we have the bits on bottom here above it is the bit sub connected to the drill collar you have stabilizers, you have other colors here, and you have heavyweight drill pipes, and you're going to have pipes all the way to surface. So looking at this assembly, the bit is what is on bottom. The bit is what has direct contact with whatever you're drilling. And so it is for woodwork and metal work. The bit is what sits on whatever you're boring a hole on and making a hole on. So that, that's the way we have it for in the oil and gas industry. The bit is what is on bottom, boring the hole drilling the well so moving quickly into the types of bit we have the first bit we'll be looking at just looking at it looking at this um, diagram quickly we have the drill bits on, on top here and we have basically three types of bit but i would like to say that bits are broadly classified at into two types which i'll say the fixed cutter and the roller cone but why we have decided to separate the drag bits away from here, away from this bit, I can actually call the drag bit the fixed cutter bit. But why we've decided to split it away from this type of bit, from the fixed cutter bit, is because it's, I won't say it's going extinct in the oil and gas industry, but it's seldom used. So we just want to put it on the side, um, discuss it, then look at other bits. So we have the drag bit. The drag bit drills by percussion and it can also drill with rotation. It's fixed. It doesn't have moving parts. And that's why I said it can be classified as a fixed cutter bit. Other types of bits that we have um, moving, um, looking at, looking to the right, we have the roller cone bit. Now the roller cone bit has moving parts. And that's why it's called the roller cone bit. Roller cone bit is classified into two. We have the mill tooth bit and we have the tox, um, tungsten carbide insert. Now, the tungsten carbide is very hard material that is put on this bit to make sure that they can drill very hard formation. So looking quickly at the mill tooth bit, mill tooth is as the name implies. So you have a bit that the teeth is milled from the material, from the from the metal, from the from the body material. And that's why you can see this is the body material and this is the bit. Now, why are they called roller cone bits? They are called roller cone bits because they actually have moving parts. If you look at this um, bit here, you see that it has three cones one here one here and one there and um the diagram i have to the bottom here is trying to explain to us or it's put there to explain to us how the mecha the mechanism in which these bits cuts or drill the formation so looking at it gorges and scrapes the formation how does it do that you have to apply weight on surface so when you apply the weight on surface it compresses and crushes the formation and when it rotates it scrapes off the formation so it deforms gorges crushes then scrapes off the formation and that's what all these cutters will be doing while on bottom so it, they're all doing that gorging scraping and gorging compressing and scraping off the formation and making the hole while we while we drill the next bit that we'll be looking at is um it's a, still a roller cone bit is a tungsten carbide inserts bit that normally called um, the tci bits now these bits are designed to drill harder formation so where the 
mill tooth bit might find it difficult to drill these buttons here designed on these cones are harder they are more rugged and able to drill um harder formations so you see that it drills pretty much with the same me uh, mechanism which tells us that we need to apply weight on surface while we drill when we apply this weight on surface that will transmit all the way down compresses and crushes the formation deforming the formation gorges through it and scrapes it away so that's i mean it pretty much cuts with the same mechanism that the mill tooth bit um cuts so the next set of bits we'll be looking at is the fixed cutter bit the fixed cutter bits as the name implies it's fixed meaning that it doesn't have any moving parts the first um, group in this um, fixed cutter bit that we'll be discussing is the natural diamond yes so we have natural diamond um made or placed on this bit and clearly you can see that how it drills it i plows and it grinds so um while it's on surface because of the cutters that it has it scrapes and plows and grinds off the formation so looking at this mechanism looking at the basic physics around this cutting mechanism you see that you don't actually need so much weight unlike that for the um for the um, roller comb bit where you have to apply where weight is required to um deform to compress gorge the formation then scrape it off here it just plows grinds the formation and makes hole as it moves as it moves ahead the next fist cutter bit we'll be discussing is the very very popular polycrystalline diamond bits so um the pdc bits polycrystalline diamond compact bit it's um very popular in the industry it drills by sharing the formation so it scrapes so just imagine a file where a file is um filing wood the way it scrapes off the formation so imagine all these all these teeth doing that simultaneously scraping off the formation grinding the formation and taking the cuttings up to surface so that's how the um pdc bit functions however it is similar to the next bit we are going to be discussing which is the thermally stable polycrystalline bits they are pretty much the same the only difference is that the pdc bits are not thermally stable when it gets into very high environment they i mean they, they react to high environment but the tcp bits are designed in such a way that they are very very thermally stable in environments where that are, that are very very hot so where pdc can't function for example in um, hp hd environment the tcp will get in there and drill your welds regardless of the temperature and come out without um having any issues so it drills with the same mechanism it plows and grinds goes ahead to scrape plow and grind the formation so you will you need to apply some weight but not as much as you will need when using any of the roller comb bits like the mill tooth bit or the tci so um summarizing the cutting mechanism looking at the mill tooth bit like like we said it crushes gorges and scrapes inset does the same thing crushes gorges and scrapes the pdc shares the natural diamond plows and grinds the thermally stable polycrystalline bits plows and grinds so that's what this um, diagram to the right is um, kind of showing us this is the mechanism cutting mechanism of the roller comb bit it compresses deforms crushes and 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 scrapes it off natural diamond plows and grinds the pdc bit shares of the cuts by sh sharing of the formation so um taking them one after the other discussing the advantages and disadvantages the mill tooth bit they are, they are, i mean for very soft formation they have excellent rop i mean looking at the way the tip is designed it just bites into the formation and excavates it and once that formation is soft enough for you to 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 deform gorge through and scrape out you just keep making your hole and and the only time you begin to um get restriction is when the formation gets harder and in that case you have to look for um a bit that is designed for hard formation and start moving from from um bits that i mean mill tooth bits designed for hard formation and you start moving towards um 
um, TCI bits, bits, uh, bits that have tungsten carbide that will help you drill that, that very hard formation. While drilling, they have very good stability and they're actually economic, very economical. I mean, they're they are pretty much very cheap. What are the disadvantages? The teeth, the, the, teeth, the way the teeth wear off, I mean, pretty much very, very fast. At times, you might apply weight on it because of how um, they are designed. They might actually break off. And when we have issues with them, um, with um, axial vibrations, bead bouncing, these teeth actually don't do well. These teeth, the, the, the roller, the, the teeth of the roller comb bead don't do well. Sometimes they can actually deform or break off. And um, most especially, they, they have very low bearing life. In um, roller comb bits, the bearings fail. So for every bit that is designed for the roller comb bits, there's one that we call the k revs that's thousand revolutions of the bit. So when you buy some of these bits from the contractor, you have to actually know what the k revs is. That's the maximum rotation that it needs to have. Once it exceeds that rotation, there's a propensity for the bearing to fail. And when it fails, the bearings, by the, by the, the cones might break off and you have a junk in your well. So that's pretty much one of the disadvantages. For fixed cutter bits, you don't bother about moving parts. You don't worry about moving parts. You drill until um, you you stop having ROP and perhaps maybe all the cutters of the bit are worn off or or the lamination to um, lamination to the, to the to the body to the bit body. I mean the teeth is bro has broken off from the lam the teeth has broken off from the lamination of the bit body. You recover to surface and find out what the problem is and um, change your bit. For the roller for the roller comb bits, it's not that easy. Once the bearing fails, there is very, very high possibility that you might lose a cone. And when you lose a cone or cones in the well, you have to go back to fish before you continue your drilling operations. And that leads us to the last disadvantage, which is the, which is the junk in hole risk, which is what I just spoke about. When the bearings fail, you lose a junk in hole and you have to go to fish them. And when you are going to do that, ladies and gentlemen, don't forget that is time. Um, for the TCI bits, they are pretty much same with roller comb bits as per advantages, cutting structure and durability. The only difference with this is TCI bits are designed for hard formation. These buttons are properly dressed with tungsten carbide, and that helps to gorge through the formation, crush through the formation. And if you're looking at the the um, the, 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 the the teeth designs we have here, so this moves from softer formation to very hard formation so when you see a button looking having this kind of um concave design tells you that it gets to the formation crushes it and gets it out so um designed for it's designed for range of formations um has interbed tolerance very good stability and stability when drilling however the issues are low rop when it's drilling i mean if you can remember remember the way the tits of the ruler of the um, uh, mill tooth bit is it has better excavating design, but for these guys, I mean, look at it, they're just buttons. And even though they help to excavate the earth, they are not going to do it as efficiently as the mill tooth bit will, will do. But again, it has low bearing life, and with that comes the additional risk of the junking hole. So just like the mill tooth bit, it has moving parts, and when it runs out of K-Revs, you can leave a junk in hole. Moving on straight to the PDC bits, what are the advantages and disadvantages? Excellent ROP, long life potential. Long life potential are the condition when it's properly designed and we monitor all the parameters while drilling. You must watch axial, lash, um, lateral, and torsional vibrations especially axial vibrations the when whenever we are drilling and there's big bounce there is a possibility that we will break off and damage these cutters so it is very very important that while we drill we must ensure that the weight that we put in the, the every the energy that we put in that's the rpm the weight that we put in translates into um rate of penetration or making hole and that we do not lose all that energy I mean, excessive torque and vibrations in the well. So we are monitoring, we're ensuring that all that energy we are putting in is making hole, is creating ROP. So once that is done efficiently, our bits come out 
doing their job and definitely we'll see them one-off but one-off in the way that they should be telling us that yes work is done or rather work was done um the next bit we'll be looking at we'll be looking at the natural diamond bits that are very durable of course we're talking about diamond here we know that i mean hardest hardest um hardest thing on earth and um with diamond bits you can drill as much as you want and even though they will they go they, even though they wear off but i mean it, it, it will definitely take time we know how durable diamond can be so diamond is going to be very very useful for very hard formation and most especially it has very low junket hole risk it is a fixed cutter bit so i mean you don't expect to lose any moving parts in the world um this advantage is that it has very slow rop of course that's expected look at the design it's very sensitive to rpm and it's expensive i mean what do you expect from a bit that is made with um amorphous diamond or even um sometimes real diamond so thank you very much everyone for watching this video to the end we'll be going ahead to in our next model to present um the designs of um fixed cutter bits designs of roller cone bits we'll go ahead to talk about how bits are selected for soft to hard formation or types of lithologies that we plan to drill we'll go ahead to discuss how bits are graded and looking at gradings looking at these gradings will tell us what the will actually tell us what the problem with drilling that drilling with that bit is if that bit was chosen efficiently and the things to look out for when choosing the bit thank you very much for watching to this end we'll see you in the next video please do not forget to share like and subscribe bye for now